Hey there everybody, Don Evans here from WatchReport.com and today I'm going to be showing you the Armand Nicolet J09 Day Date Automatic. That's quite a mouthful. Now if you were to go to the Armand Nicolet website, you're going to see many different variations of this model. This is the Day Date. It comes in at least six or seven different dial options. There is rubber straps, leather straps and bracelet options there are pvd options or i think they're actually dlc and there are also chronograph versions but that gets into another price bracket of course your price your msrp full retail is twenty seven hundred dollars now when you go to the website it uh, offers a 15 percent discount if you sign up uh, for the newsletter and uh, uh purchase straight from them and as, of course you know you know when you're shopping around for a watch you know what you want to pay and where you want to buy it from do your due diligence and check around for the best price possible so 41 millimeter case 50 millimeter lug to lug now this is interesting you have a 41 millimeter square style case a 50 millimeter lug to lug and a 24 millimeter lug width here uh, and that's that's different that's not something you see every day a 41 millimeter case and a 24 millimeter lug width you're looking at just about 13 millimeters thick i mean my calipers i measured 13 millimeters it says 12.5 on the website uh you are getting the day date it is of course a sapphire crystal front and back i'll show you the back here in a second to show you the movement now the movement now they list it as an AN caliber 2846 dash something something. You know, it is a decorated ETA 28, or excuse me, ETA 2846 automatic movement. Try saying that three times fast. Well, I can't anyway, apparently. But let's take a look at this uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful movement here. Uh, very very nicely decorated rotor I don't even want to call it decorated I mean it's not engraved that's an actual uh, gold um, plate you know a, a uh, gold plated uh, plate that is added to that rotor there let's see if I can get up close show you some of the nice finishing um, on the movement very nice movement now I think many of you, if you're if you're familiar <laughs> with my reviews, I you know tend to go on a lot about uh, watches that have exhibition case backs with fairly fairly standard movements. And I'm talking, and I'm not saying that this uh, you know the Eta 2846 is a super highly decorated movement or or anything like that. But if you compare this movement to say a Seiko NH35, a standard Miyota 9015 or 8200 series, etc., etc. Uh, they're as plain, plain, plain and boring to look at as it possibly gets. So for me, I always prefer uh, to have a solid case back because to me, those movements, they're workhorse movements, they're great movements, but they're not worth showing off. This one at least is in that realm of, you know, you take this off your wrist and you show it to somebody and, you know, obviously you know us watch people or whatever but if they're a non-watch person they're still going to turn this over and they're going to look at this as opposed to say some of those really plain i'm going to say ugly movements in my opinion and they'll, they'll take you'll take this off and you'll hand it to them to show it to them and they'll see this movement and they'll be like wow that that is beautiful because it is you know i mean it's just a uh, the entire case back is very striking and to me when you're gonna have an exhibition case back this is the level this and above of course of uh, at least in my opinion what you want to see a very you know it's a very nicely decorated polished stainless steel case back it's highly you know machined and engraved here and then you got that very nice movement now I talked about bracelet there is a bracelet option if you follow us on social media you've seen uh, probably seen a good many posts uh, before this review of this watch on the stainless steel bracelet I have the rubber strap here because I just wanted to show in a video to show it on the rubber strap I like to switch things up a bit there are at least probably 20 some pictures of it on the stainless steel bracelet 
um, on the full review, which click the eye on the upper right hand part of the screen. Um, and if you haven't been able to figure out how to tap the screen and it, where the little eye comes up and it'll take you to the full review, of course, just go to www.watchreport.com and uh, you'll be able to uh, see the full review of this watch. So it does come uh, that you have a stainless bracelet option if you want a stainless bracelet. Of course, you could also purchase uh, the rubber strap uh, as well. Stainless bracelet is very nice. It starts out at 24 millimeters and it tapers down to the clasp. Uh, my only quibble with the bracelet is that it uses double-sided, uh, you know, double-headed screws, and they're very small screws. So while it's easy enough to size, you do have to use two screwdrivers. It doesn't include any tools, and you know those, you know, you're using two screwdrivers, and you got to hold it, and you're, you know, your little uh, plastic thing or a little vice to try and you know keep it steady. And then once you get those screws out, they're very, 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 very tiny. So don't do this over a carpet or. You can have a little bit of Tourette's uh, on that day. The rubber strap, um, this is very nice. It's not super soft. It's not um, hard either. Now, when I f it first arrived, it, it was a little on the stiff side. I actually kind of had to um, bend it before I could put it on my wrist, like just kind of mold it a little bit um, because it was a little stiff. And after I did that, it actually... Uh, fit perfect and the more I wore it the past couple weeks the better um, that it fit it also comes uh, on this beautiful the point clasp you can see they even signed the inside of the clasp with the arm and nickel a logo you got some nice machining on here and there is the clasp when it is closed very nice and it's actually very very secure you really do have to push those buttons to pop it open it won't pop open otherwise which is a nice feature I'll give you a nice look here at this dial you have that very cool patterned center dial the applied markers uh, loom on this is not fantastic but this is uh, you can see of course the loom shots at watchreport.com this of course is not a watch you know in my opinion that you're gonna look at uh, for loom uh, it's not a dive watch or a field watch or anything like that. There is loom, but don't expect to be blown away. Um, but it is a very, very nice dial. Uh, your water resistance here is only uh, 50 meters. So keep that in mind. It is a push-pull crown to operate the time and the date. But overall, a very, very nice watch. You know, I saw somebody else post this somewhere or make a comment and said something to the effect of that uh well they copied uh you know paddock philippe um not really i don't see just because it's a square you know style case that i mean go take a look at the paddock philippe and uh you know that the model that they're talking about it's a very different looking case uh I mean, similar realm sure it's not even exactly the same it's not even remotely the same case though and uh i think even non-watch people would be able to see that so that's my take on that um, i don't consider this to be an homage uh to anything whatsoever in my opinion there's a nice look at that uh dial there so let me show you a shot on my seven and a half inch wrist i want to say let's see one two three four i mean like the fourth or fifth hole here with this deploying clasp on the rubber strap so just so you know this should you know easily fit up to an eight inch wrist if not you know a little bit more um so it's nice that it's not i mean it's not a super long strap but it is not a very short strap either which is always nice to see so if you want to see more click the i in the upper right hand part of the screen or go to watchreport.com we'll take you over to the full review for more thoughts and comments on this piece and uh, as always they will be my honest thoughts and comments of what i think personally of this watch 
Leave a like or a comment here on YouTube. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. You will never miss another review. Follow us on social media. We are on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. This has been a look at the very beautiful, in my opinion, Armand Nicolet J09 Day Date. This has been Don Evans for WatchReport.com, and I'll see you guys in the next video.